There's another phenomenon that has never been discovered. But Einstein's general relativity laws allow for its existence. It's called a white hole. Well, a black hole is an object into which things are falling and disappearing, rather like a sinkhole. A white hole is doing the opposite. Things are coming out. Things are coming out rather like a fountain. A white hole is like the unicorn, an exotic animal that's never been seen before. A white hole is very similar to a black hole, except it runs backwards. Think of running the videotape backwards. Instead of matter falling into the event horizon, never to come out, matter falls out of a black hole. So it's the opposite, a time-reverse black hole. Black holes, as we know, have now been understood to be out there in our universe. And so you might wonder whether the same thing's true about white holes as well. For example, quasars, when they were first discovered, were thought to be maybe white holes. Why? Because they seem to be producing a huge amount of energy. We now know that that's not the case. Quasars are actually powered by black holes. There's a school of thought that says that anything that can exist must exist somewhere. And if one adopts that school of thought, then at the moment, we have to admit that white holes might be out there somewhere. If nature uses white holes, physicists speculate that they could have been an important element in the earliest stages of the universe, maybe even in the formation of the universe itself.